What is going on guys, I bring you another play review and it is the recently released second in form Lucas and this man is simply amazing, so amazing that he even has an amazing price tag of only 130k on the PS3 and it is falling also because he's only been released for 2 days so you could expect him to be around 80k by the end of the week, that's what I'm assuming unless he gets fucking price fixed. Anyway, moving on um, to his awesome pace because it's just too damn good. Um, to give you a brief idea of how fast he is, he actually is a bit slower than Nilmar. So he is pretty fast to be honest with you guys and he can play in three different positions. Um, this is why I recommend striker, centre forward and also centre attacking midfielder. He is actually pretty awesome in a 4-2-2-2 position. Um, as a centre attacking midfielder or a striker. Anyway, moving on, he also has 5 star skills and the biggest and the most awesome attribute about him is, is his amazing dribbling. I mean seriously amazing, he is so dangerous in the penalty area because of how close the ball is to his feet. He can pass defenders, you can mess around with the goalkeeper because it's so easy to do so. The goalkeeper will be so close to you but you could still pass the keeper and score and or just walk it into the net. I've done this so many times and you will see this in the videos. I mean, um, moving on also to his awesome shot power and long shots, this guy is the man to do it with because he could, he is capable of doing um, uh, scoring long shots from so far away as well. Also, like I said, if you're going to play him in 4-2-2-2 um, formation as a centre attack midfielder, he is awesome to cut in and score those awesome finesse shots. Or you could just cut and mess around, you know, do those five star skills and then finesse it because he has awesome finesse shots. Also, he won't be bullied by the defenders because he does have awesome balance. Even though his strength is completely shit, he won't be bullied as easy by the defenders because his balance, I think, is around 91, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. Now, move, moving on to his disadvantages, his weak foot is useless, so you can forget about his fucking left foot because you can't score finesse shots, you can't score those long shots, or do anything with his left foot because he only has three star weak foot and it really shows on the pitch it's just n no good at all another thing that he's not good at is his free kicks are pretty much crap i mean if you're going to do power shots from free kicks th that's all right but if you're going to try and curve it i wouldn't recommend him for free kicks and also he has high work rates because both his defensive and attacking work rate is pretty high so he will be getting tired pretty quickly unless you change this in custom formations and that is pretty much all i have to say about second inform Lucas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review as much as I did recording the footage. If you did, please hit the like button. Also guys, who do you think I should review next and who do you think I should review um, at the start of FIFA 13? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below and as usual, I hope you have a very nice day.